Hey everybody, welcome back to R&R &R Acres. And I have a fun little thing I'm doing today. I am going to be making vanilla bean paste. Now vanilla bean paste is used just like vanilla extract, but you don't need to wait for an extended period of time to use it. If you've ever made extract at home, which we do love doing, uh, you know you have to wait for a year or more depending on the type of alcohol you have. So we're going to use this, make this paste so we can do some holiday cooking and I won't have to run out of extract. So I'm excited about this. So I'm going to be using Indonesian beans today. And of course we're going to weigh everything. I've got my scale handy because beans can vary from size to size. This is a grade A juicy Indonesian vanilla bean. So is this one, uh, big, beautiful from different regions. Uh, but both very, very good. And so that's why it's important to weigh out your beans to get an accurate recipe and not just count your beans. So we are going to work with an easy recipe here today. I have vanilla beans, agave nectar, or you could use honey depending on what you would like. Some vanilla extract I've previously made and as a thickening agent to help keep the caviar from, and the beans all mixed in and steady and stable, I'm gonna use some Zekthan gum. And that'll can vary depending on how much you wanna use. Usually a quarter to three quarters of a teaspoon is enough. I have some sterilized jars ready to pour it into. And so we're gonna get going by weighing out our beans. And I have my handy dandy blender ready to start making it. So I'm gonna make sure my scale's on here. There we go. And I'm going to weigh out about two ounces of the beans here that I've got handy. Almost there. Almost. Let's get them on there completely. Yeah, that's really close. Darn close. And so the beans, and this is why I love vanilla paste. There's no waste going on. I'm going to add them all right in to my blender. And then I'm going to add the nectar and my vanilla. All right, I have my 16 ounces of agave nectar I'm adding to my blender. There we go, get every little bit in there. And then I'm going to be adding my four tablespoons of the vanilla that I've made. There we go. And then we're going to give this a go. Now that my bean mix is very well grounded up, you can see all the caviar and bits all on here. This is gonna be such a tasty treat. I'm going to add my gum in here so that way I can create a thickening agent and that my caviar stays suspended in my paste like I would like so that each spoonful I take out is an even mix of the vanilla bean caviar. And we mix again. Okay, we are all mixed in and now we're going to pour our nice, dark, yummy smelling, I wish you guys all could smell this, vanilla bean paste into my sterilized jars. Now, we'll keep this refrigerated, uh, but this could be good for a year or more. Not that it will last that long, but hey, you know, we're gonna give it a try. So this is one of the easiest and quick recipes to make that is full of flavor and will add sweetness to any dish. I do hope that when you're measuring your vanilla in your recipes, you measure with your heart than more on the recipe. I have to say, we do add a little extra to ours. It's always important to label all of your creations so that your family knows what's going on in your cupboards and in your refrigerator. Uh, but this is getting a little thicker as we go. This is beautiful. All the caviar is suspended in it. And this is what we're looking for. And it's ready to use. No waiting. Happy baking, everybody.